Hi, welcome to Fairtrade Finder. Today we're looking at two portable power stations, the Anchor Powerhouse 767 and the EcoFlow Delta II Mac. There will also be links to both power stations in the video description. These power stations, both of them um, have what's called Life PO4 technology. So this is the type of lithium ion batteries that they use. There's different types of lithium batteries that a power station can have. And this is the preferred type, primarily because uh, this technology is considered safer because it's less likely to like overcharge or overheat. And it has a considerably longer lifespan. It has more charge and discharge cycles in this type of lithium ion technology. Uh, they both have capacity, which is how much energy they can store of 2048 watt hours. So um, yeah, that just tells you how much it can store and, and deliver, how much energy it can store and deliver, you know, um, without, before it needs to be recharged again. And, uh, they both have 3000 charge cycles. So again, that refers to the lifespan of the power station. That's how many times one charge cycle is considered a charge and a discharge. So that means you charge it up to 100% and then you discharge it down to around 0%. So 3000 charge cycles, if you maintain a power station correctly, you know, you store it correctly, um, you make sure to keep the lithium battery um, maintained, um, it can last you easily 10 years, you know, with, you know, weekly or even daily use. Uh, so that's a nice, long-lasting uh, lithium battery. Uh, they both have Bluetooth and or Wi-Fi connectivity. So this is great because they can be remotely controlled through um, through an app, which is which is awesome. And they both give you five-year warranty coverage. And you know, again, with something like a portable power station, they're such a big investment. You want to know that if something goes wrong with, especially your lithium battery, that the company is going to give you some support and replacement options. Uh, so let's dive into how they stack up against each other. So these are the, you know, both of these power stations, this is the Anchor, and then this is the EcoFlow. So in comparison to both of these devices, on paper, you know, I really like the EcoFlow Delta II Max. And let's go into why I feel this way. So starting off, the Delta II Max has more expansion capacity. So what that means is, so capacity is measured in watt hours. And this, as I said, tells you how much energy a portable power station can store. And this controls like how many devices you can charge and for how long. So both of these have starting capacity of 2,048 watt hours. However, the EcoFlow has more expansion capacity and its battery can be scaled up to 6,000 watt hours. Now what that means is you can buy expansion battery packs and you can um, attach them to the EcoFlow and it will basically, uh, I mean, this is a tripling of your capacity. So what's great about this is you don't have to go out and buy a whole new power station to get more capacity. You can buy an expansion battery, which, you know, is always going to be more ch uh, cheaper than buying a brand new power station. The Anchor also has expansion possibilities, but it maxes out at 4,096 uh, 4, watt hours. So that's a great feature with the EcoFlow. You can really like um, boost the capacity and have a much po more powerful power station if you want to. So the second feature that we really like is that the Delta II Max has more surge power. So this re um, relates to the output of the power station. So output is measured in watts, and this refers to the amount of electricity that a power station can deliver to its connected devices. So the Anchor actually has more continuous output, and it gives you 28, like, uh, 2,800 watts, while the EcoFlow Delta II has 2,400 watts. However, the Delta II Max has more surge power, it gives you 48 watts, sorry, 4,800 watts of surge, and the anchor maxes out at 3,600 watts of surge. Now, what this means is that the EcoFlow can deliver higher, more power in short bursts. So, surge power is not something that you're going to continuously be able to get from the power station, but it can give it to you in short bursts. So, for example, you can plug up something that is a lot more um, energy intensive, and the EcoFlow can sustain it better than the anchor. Um, and that said, you know, so the EcoFlow is going to be better for higher short-term bursts of power, while the Anchor will be better for a steady, continuous delivery of power over a longer period of time. Okay, next feature is outputs, of basically, basically the outlets and ports that these power stations have. And this is one of my most important features. So the Ecof EcoFlow Delta II Max has 15 total outlets and ports that you can connect your devices to. So this includes six AC outlets, two USB-A ports with um, 12 watts of, um, of output, uh, two USB-A fast charge with 18 watts, uh, two USB-C um, with 100 watts of output, and two DC ports with 38 watts of output, and then one car port, so basically like the cigarette lighter port 
that was uh, 126 watts. So it's pretty powerful for a carport. Now the Anchor gives you 12 total outlets and ports. You get four AC outlets. You get three USB-C ports, two USB-A, two DC ports, and then you get one RV port. So this is a TT30R. So this is this port here. And you can actually directly plug your RV into this port. So that's a really cool feature. But I really like having more uh, AC outlets because they're so common and you can basically plug anything up into an AC outlet. Um, so, and I also like having multiple, fat, like four different fast charge USB options. So that's, um, again, one of the most important features for me on a power station because it dictates what you can actually plug into it. So the next feature is re recharge time. How quickly can you get the power station recharged when it's depleted? So the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max can be recharged within about 70 minutes if you plug it into a wall outlet or in a little over two hours via solar panels. So the Anchor Powerhouse 767, it charges in about one, you know, an, an hour and a half to two hours if you plug it up to an AC wall outlet. So 1.4 to 1.8 hours and then about two and a half hours using um, solar. And that's also, that's pretty good. So, you know, the EcoFlow gives you a bit of, a, uh, of an edge. You can charge a bit faster, but the Anchor doesn't do too badly. Um, the next feature is that the EcoFlow Delta II Max weighs about 50 pounds. So, you know, it's 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 not lightweight. Um, you have these two handles on, on either side, so you can pick it up. That said, the Anchor is 67 pounds, so it's definitely heavier. However, it does have a retractable, a retractable handle um, and wheels. So that definitely gives it you an edge because you can roll it around. This handle, I have read that it doesn't extend as far out as you want it. So it's not like a suitcase. So people describe that you kind of have to bend over and, and wheel it along. Um, so those are, you know, my most important features in terms of what, you know, why I would pick the EcoFlow over the Anchor. And just to recap, EcoFlow has more expansion capacity, it has more surge power, and you have more outputs to plug into, and it charges a bit faster using AC and solar. So those are my kind of top features. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful and um, would love anybody's feedback on if um, you're using either of these power stations, your experiences with them, pros and cons. Thanks for watching.